Okay, everyone. Uh, let me just give you a full screen. So here is Power BI service. I'm going to go full screen. And this is what we have. So now you're going to be creating this particular, you know, a beautiful dashboard together. It has six different pages, different dashboards inside one single, uh, you know, a PBIX. So now every single circle, circle you see right here represent a particular dashboard of, you know, report or whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, we have products. We have 47 products, right, that our company currently sell and we have 50 customers and we have 45 customers and it's actually going to update based on if we have new data coming in and stuff like that and we have three years of data and we have transaction okay let's say i want to go to transaction all i need to do is to actually click and follow the link by clicking right here it's going to take me to where we have a transaction right in now this is where we have actually created to actually help us with you know uh the analysis of the transaction as you can see very beautiful you might not understand what is going on right here but don't worry when we start creating you will definitely understand what it is that is going on right here okay we have something like if we have a filter right here if we select like accessories right now all the accessories we sell what we can see is actually going to give us like how many uh, quantity had been sold what is the gross revenue and the profit right and we have the shipping status and delivery status and uh, with the sales channel like the sales where we used to sell our products and stuff like that we have all of them analyzed right here based on what based on quantity sold and when we hover over it what we're going to see is more information about what we have right and we are not some kind of restricted to those functionalities i've just shown you when you come right here you can click on it and what you see is just this right so the one that has the dark or uh, the darkest uh, color is the one that's some kind of activated who is the order like this particular page right right now when i hover over it it tells me activated so i'm going to show you how to do everything so the next thing i'm going to do right now is that if i want to go back to where we came from i can click on home or you can see this particular home you know uh, animated icon right here click on it it's going to take you back to where we actually you know came from this is exactly what it is nicely okay let's see more pages right now if i want to go to this particular time range analysis right now and i click on it it's going to give me this particular dashboard part right here now beautiful so this is highly customized just to make sure it gives the end user more information about what is going on right here on this particular dashboard that's what i'm talking about let's say now we have a switched merger right here if i go right here and deactivate the particular merger right now what's going to happen the, da the dashboard is going to look some kind of blank Wow, the end user will be like, what the heck is going on? You created a dashboard for me and it's not working nicely. But if you look at it, we have information right here that says, you know, select merger, select what, select merger, and select merger. So if we now come right here right now, it says kindly select a single merger from active merger filter to get insight on the charts. Now, this is the active merger right here. If I click right on it right now and I select like revenue, so what am I going to see? now this particular you know caption will definitely change revenue is what is currently activated and you see revenue 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 right here um the only table that is not some kind of affected right now is this particular table we have right here that is not affected and what this table does is actually telling us what is the best selling day for each of our products I'm going to tell you first then that you are not some kind of restricted to products. You want to see, being a customer, what is the best the best day that some customers always come to the, uh, to the company, the warehouse to buy, to make purchases and stuff like that. Or now the best selling uh, days for, you know, sales rep or sales team or so ever, or the best buying days for locations and, you know, regions, whatever it is, you know, all that. So you can do that. So the little I, can, uh, the little I could explain right here, you can actually explain expand it to something different and create something very amazing yourself if you want to make a very you know huge analysis right now we have this one right here that you can actually you know navigate to let's say i want to go to sales team right now if i click on sales team it's going to take me down to where i have my sales team right in as you can see those are all the sales teams we have right here and regional sales and the top three sales team we have it right here very very beautiful huh so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to click right here and I might want to go to like back home. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to come back home. So there are so many pages. I just want to show you just a few of those pages we have right here. And when we start creating this, you will definitely understand what is going on right here. So this one here, I call it customer retargeting. What we have done right here is to see like, okay, now how many days, uh, how many transaction per customers and what was the last day that we have seen a particular customer and how many days ago? So this customer was one day ago, eight days ago. This customer actually meant to purchase based on the date we have currently on our system today and all of that. And what we now did is this. We now say here is going to be 
our customer retargeting based on what we have right on this table. We now say, okay, now uh, we want to see customer that had not made purchase from us for the last 28 days down to the last um, the last 13 days right here. Can you see it right now? This is what it is, right? So now we are going to have everything created together. Please, I'm going to actually tell you, this is very important. Don't just say because you have a template for us. I don't want to follow that particular part of this tutorial. I want to skip it up. No, it's not going to work that way. So follow every single step and actually, you know, create your own part of the story. Replicate everything I have done to master my way of creation because we have different way of doing things, right? Uh, specifically, when it comes to creating templates for your words, creating templates for your project. Now, we use PowerPoint mostly right here in this particular project. So go ahead and actually learn how to use uh, PowerPoint to do this because what you, you would learn is actually tricks to do it. And before you know, you'll be able to do it on your own without having to watch my own tutorials to have it done, right? So guys, this is exactly what it is right on this particular part of this, player, of this project, of this tutorial, of this lecture and stuff like that. Okay, being our first project, so all you have to do is to follow every single step I have actually explained right here. It will definitely make the subsequent you know, classes very easy for you, right? Okay, I just wish you good luck. Let us meet in the next you know, uh, class, forever.